more the same. What is up everybody welcome back to Alan's Beer and Gaming tonight it's gonna be another one of those little bit different videos this video is gonna be ranking the worst best flavor on hot sauces and the mildest to hottest hot sauces that you can find at your local like Wally World or you know other types of uh, grocery stores now I'd wanted to take and get some artisanal stuff from a place like a Lowe's or Lidl's or stuff like that that didn't happen but for the most part, everybody has access to a Walmart somewhere, and this, this is about the fare of what you'll get at your local Wally World, and this being something that you'll find in one of the gift things that they sell every so often, the Ass Kicking Carolina Reaper, I'm going to finish off with that. These are going to be rated from worst to best flavor, and... From mildest to hottest. So, first thing we are going to start off with is Frank's Red Hot. And move these out the way. Whoa. So, as I said, I'll be starting with Frank's Red Hot. So, let's go ahead and get this bad boy opened. Might have to go get a knife for some of these later ones. This one. I wanted to make sure that all these are brand new. Wait, couldn't nobody be like, hey, he's probably trying something different. Uh, damn all that. Let's see if this is worth putting that shit on everything. We're going ahead and. It's a glass bottle. This wasn't all that great of an idea. Why'd they put it in glass bottles? You want to be able to squeeze that shit. Just playing. Just playing. Come on. Alright, as you can see here, got a good bit on the spoon. Ugh. Why would you want to put that shit on everything? Wow. <clears throat> to me, it tastes more like buffalo sauce. Like, for real. It's cayenne pepper sauce. So it's the perfect blend of flavor and heat. I don't care for the buffalo wing flavor. The buffalo sauce. I'm feeling this is a base for a lot of it. It just... For me, it, it you know... That buffalo sauce just doesn't taste all that great. Let's see, serving size, one teaspoon. Well, we almost had that. Zero fat, 190 gram sodium, zero carbs, zero calories. So, I mean, if you're on a diet, you can use this. It's got a little bit of heat. And I'll be honest with you, if you use, if you're going on a diet. It's not a bad idea to take and incorporate something like a jalapeno or a serrano because the capsaicin and the heat actually helps speed up your body metabolism. So, that's actual science. Let's see, any ingredients in here? What are the ingredients? It's how you know you're getting old. You start going, from, you go from doing this number to that number. Aged... Cayenne, red peppers, distilled vinegar, water, salt, and garlic powder. Well, that wasn't too bad. It's not too bad, but, you know, it is what it is. Tastes like buffalo sauce. Let's see, we got Texas Pete here. We'll do that one next. Texas Pete. This is popular at roadside diners, taking a uh, stroll into a somewhere like a Denny's or 
even somewhere like a Waffle House. A lot of times for their hot sauces, they've got Texas Pete. Thank God I had a big ass meal earlier today. And as you can see here, go to mount the spoon, put a little bit more for good measure. Flavor very mild. You get the pepper flavor off of it, which I like. It's not hot at all. Doesn't really have a kick says medium scale this is medium folks have got some problems but might be my tongue is a little bit busted so you know zero calories zero carbs 90 gram sodium zero sugars yeah basically the only thing it's got is sodium and it's four percent of your daily uh, values ingredients vinegar aged uh, peppers which that's the main flavor you get off of this is the aged peppers to be honest with you I get peppers maybe some turmeric or something like that water xanthan gum and bezonate of soda to preserve freshness and flavor so now I'm getting the I'm getting the peppers I'm wondering what kind of peppers they use I can almost bet that the heat that's coming off of this, the little bit of heat that you get off of this, is probably more from the vinegar than anything else. If I had to venture a guess, that's not bad. Tax Pete, it's pretty decent. If you worked around any Latino folks, they love this. It is Tapatio. I know folks who this is their main hot sauce. Shaking up pretty good. Make sure everything's all nice and like it's supposed to be. Well mixed. Already looks to be a little bit thicker of a sauce, maybe. <clears throat> to be honest, I've had a lot of hot sauces in my lifetime. I used to take and eat hot peppers religiously. I've had a lot of hot sauces. I think this is the first time I've actually had tapatio, to be honest with you. All right, so it's about the same amount as the rest of them, which you want to see. That's about the amount that I've taken putting all of them. Now, let's see if I can't do this one-handed. That tastes awesome. It's got a bit of a bite on the back end, but it's not overly harsh. <clears throat> Salsa picante hot sauce. 110 grams of sodium or milligrams of sodium. You get the pepper. Woo! There's some of that bite. Woo hoo! Hell yeah! Woo! Vernon, California. All right, this is actually going to. I 
I just say right now, water and milk don't help or the fuck. <clears throat> Made of water, red peppers, salt, spices, garlic, acetic acid, xanthan gum, sodium bezonate as a preservative. I'll tell you right now, that has got a little bit of a kick to it on the back end. Once you swallow, that's where that kick comes through and attacks the side of your tongue. After you swallow, that's that's where everything starts. The, si the size of your tongue is where it attacks. That's that's very good. All right now. Ah yes, everybody's favorite, Tabasco. There's a bottle. See, this one, this has got me going, all right, what the hell? Because this is made of water and red peppers. I'm trying to figure out what kind of red peppers. Whether it be like the, the chili arbol, uh, the arbol um, type peppers, or whether it's like red jalapenos they're using, or what. go more the same oh oh holy shit oh Holy bejesus. <clears throat> Ingredients. Distilled vinegar, red peppers, salt. <coughs> I know they ferment their peppers. That's too tangy. Like, there's no real heat. It's too tangy. Good night. I don't recommend this to anybody. I'm just gonna say that it's already worst in my book. Okay. So chili habanero. Before we go any further, be right back. I'm gonna get me a glass of tea because uh, starting to warm up a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but I am sweating. All right, so uh, the next go, the next uh, thing up for bid, <laughs> the next next thing up is uh, sriracha. This, I used to be a fiend for this. I used to have this on. I wouldn't use ketchup. I'd use sriracha on everything, and it's so good. This one, actually a squirt bottle, so. Hmm. 
Here we go. Mm. It is so good. It's like a spicy ketchup almost. Like you get the flavor of the pepper. Get the flavor of the pepper. You get a bit of tang from it. <clears throat> Ingredients. Chili, sugar, salt, garlic, acetic acid, potassium sorbate, sodium bisulfite as preservatives, and xanthan gum. So yeah, that's, that's the reason why you get the tang in this because it's chili, chili and sugar in it. Get a hint of the garlicky, the garlic in the background. This, my friends, is where I start getting a little bit, just a tiny bit nervous because I don't have tolerance like I used to for hot stuff. I still love the hot stuff, but it's uh, yeah, not like it used to be. So now we've got salsa picante de chili habanero by L. You could techo. There it is. You can find this in the uh, Mexican foods section or Latin foods, ethnic foods section, as they like to put it there at uh, Walmart. I might start doing a little bit less on the spoon now. Just because it's getting hotter. Come on. Get off of there, darn you. Oh my god. It's like trying to shake up some concrete mortar. Like for real. All right, all right, all right. Oh. That smells beautiful. Let's see here. Oh, oh, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, I might have just screwed up. I didn't want that much. I said smaller amount, not larger. Houston, we have a problem. Hey. Oh, wow. That's really good. Heat on the back end, to say the least. Heat on the back end. You get the chili flavor. You get that habanero, er, a little bit of earthiness. There's a little bit of sweet in there. And you get some spice. And that's about it. Let's see. Ingredients. Water. Habanero peppers. Go figure. Tomato. See, that's what it is. Tomato. Salt, spices, acetic acid, blah, blah, blah. Okay. 90 gram sodium. Woo, about par for the course. Holy shit. It's not so much the mouth burn. It's the way it's heating up my head. Like, for real. Like, you can see I'm getting sweaty. It's starting to make me tear. Now, at some point in time during this... I'm going to get an endorphin rush. And somebody who used to dub themselves as a chili head and eat the full pods, look for the endorphin rush. That's a bigger hide than any kind of weed you'll ever get. I promise you. Uh. Mm. Woo! Whew. All right. <clears throat> Mm. 
that attacks the front of the tongue and the underside of it. The rest of your mouth not so bad. That tip and the underside is where I took and got most of that heat. And this is another thing. Chilies, the heat levels of chilies, they actually attack different portions of your mouth depending on what it is. Some of them, they don't hardly take an attack. But the sides of your mouth, some of them just take an attack. The tongue, some of them attack the back of your throat after you swallow. Mm. Some attack the whole mouth. So the next one we have is extra hot sauce. Yay me. Salsa picante. Chili habanero from El Yucateco. You can see this is a different color. This is like a green. So I'm wondering because a lot of times, well, whenever you take and eat habanero, most of the time they're orange. So I'm wondering if you've got some tomatillos or something like that in there. Tomato, salt, onion, hydrogenate. Canola oil. So, no. Oh, wow. And let's go around the ingredients. Normally, the way the ingredients fall is what they have the most of in it. This one, habanero pepper. Ingredient number one. Again, yay me. Why did I decide to do this? Thank God I don't eat the whole damn podge no more. I think I've done had all the hot ones, so I don't need to do that shit ever again. Whoa. Mayan sauce. Oh boy. There we go, that's enough. <clears throat> so I'm trying to take and get enough to get the potency and the flavor. Some of those smaller, some of those less hot sauces like the Tabasco, the uh, Texas Pete, Frank's Red Hot, you have to do that to kind of get more of the flavor profile and also to get the heat. That hits the back of your throat. Holy bejesus. Alright. So. Flavor on that's awesome. The heat profile. Look. If. This is your go to. That's too hot for you. If this is your go-to, this is just a step up. That's really good flavor, though. Because the beauty of it is you take and get the flavor of the habanero. And the habanero flavor or pepper has a very, has a floral and earthy type flavor to it. But when you add, so you got the tomato with it and the salt. You don't get much tomato, but the salt gives it a little bit of um, levity, basically, basically, blah, blah, blah. This is another thing, normal hot or ultra hot hot sauces. Just drinking this isn't going to take an actually calm anything. And for those that aren't associated or acquainted with the heat world, the Red Savina 
for a long time until the ghost pepper come along. The red savina was the hot was considered the hottest pepper in the world, if I'm not mistaken. The red savina, which is a type of uh, habanero. As you can see, this has already been opened. This is one that I've got. This I got from the local food line a couple weeks ago. And as you can see, Ghost Peppa! Let's see. Ingredients. Cane vinegar, ghost pepper, carrot pulp, lemon pulp, salt, onion powder, uh, paprika, no, papaya, mm. pulp, citric acid. Whoo! Not looking forward to this. Holy bejesus. What the fuck was I thinking? Alright, this being ghost pepper salt, uh, hot sauce. That's enough. So... Here goes nothing. That is really flavorful. You get fruitiness right up front. There's a ghost pepper. Holy fuck. <clears throat> Found the ghost pepper. But you get fruitiness to it. You get sweetness. You get a bit of a bit of the spice profile off of it. And then that ghost pepper hits as you swallow. You get the earthiness of the ghost pepper. Because the ghost pepper has a very earthy flavor to it. One thing, <clears throat> be right back. All right, so as you can see, I'm back. Wow, and my tolerance is way down. You see all these people, <clears throat> they're taking do hot stuff that they'll take and go get um, ice cream and they'll take and go get milks peanut butter Fatty acids and peanut butter <clears throat> taking calm down, which uh, trying to make sure I'm not too blurry on the screen. All right, there we go. Yes, and.
Yes. All right, so peanut butter, the fast fatty acids in uh, peanut butter. Which let me start this once again because camera. There we go. The fatty acids in peanut butter break down capsaicin a lot better than milk. Well, we see how that one went. <laughs> this one ought to be fun. Tell you right now, I'm not putting nowhere close to that amount on that spoon. It's not happening. Holy shit, that was hot. And the thing about it is, it's a slow build. It wasn't instantaneous. Like it was hot, and then it just built. Excuse me. Which, it being a ghost pepper, that makes sense. Yay me. I don't know why I had to come up with this genius idea, but here we go. <clears throat> there we go. That much right there. All I'm doing, that's going to be too much. I'll tell you that right now. What's the ingredients on this? Water, Carolina Reaper pepper, vinegar, carrots, salt, fresh garlic, <laughs> xanthan gum, and spices. You get the carrot juice, you get the fruitiness of the Carolina Reaper. Oh, Lord. And then the heat. For those who don't know or haven't tried the Carolina Reaper, builds, and it can build for 10 to 15 minutes. It attacks the top of the tongue, the sides of the mouth, underneath the tongue, <clears throat> and the back of the throat. I'm going to be honest with you, though. This is not hitting me like the last one. It's not building quite as fast. I'm thinking that... <clears throat> this one isn't as bad. Seeing as the first ingredient is water, maybe they've diluted the Reaper so much that you get the kick of the Reaper, but you still don't take and get near as bad as what you would if Reaper was the main ingredient. Alright, so my opinion, the last one was hotter. This one, in my opinion, is the hottest. And the weakest is a tie between this one, this one, and 
this one. So, flavor wise, there's your three worst right here Tabasco, Texas Pete, and French Red Hot. I don't think the flavor of none of these are that great. Well, excuse me. The heat on these, non existent. The flavor. Not really that great either. I mean, this has probably got the best flavor out of these three. But, I have to say that the flavor of this one probably is the top. So, if I, have to, if I had to rank this in flavor, it'd be red hot. No, actually, it'd be... I'm going to go flavor-wise here. Basco, French Red Hot, Texas Pete, Sriracha, some Sriracha sauce, <laughs> then it would be probably this one, followed by Actually, this one followed by this one followed by that one, that one, and that one. Or, excuse me, is that as hot as it is? Tastes freaking amazing because it, it highlights the ghost pepper while also giving you a flavorful mouthful, very fruity. This is just this is really really good this you can put on anything the ones back here these three right here the sriracha the ass kicking and the extra hot habanero they've got decent flavor to them they'll add to your they'll take and de definitely take an add to the flavor profile of anything that you want to eat but I got to say this has got the best flavor out of all of them Now, if we're going to take and go from least hot to most hot, these four right here, your winners with everything else, just not, not cutting the grade as far as heat is concerned. And there you have it, folks. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you support the channel. Y'all have a lovely day. Peace out.